In this video, I will show you how to use Microsoft Excel for creating barcodes. By default, Excel doesn't have an option for generating barcodes. So we will install a barcode font in Windows and using that font, Excel will generate barcodes. So for installing a barcode font in Windows, Google for the team download barcode font. See, there are many websites offering barcode fonts. We will go with idautomation.com. Freecode 39. This is the barcode font we are looking for. To download the font, click on download now. See the font got downloaded as a zip file. Show in folder. Right click. Extract here. Open this folder called idautomation.com. Here we have the font file called freecode39. To install this font file, right click, install. Now that we have the barcode font installed in Windows, open Microsoft Excel. Let's check the font list, IT automation. And here is the font called freecode39, which we installed a moment before. Escape. Now an important thing to note before typing in universal product codes, also called UPCs, into Excel cells. Let me type in a UPC here, which is the product code of my Amazon Echo Dot. Now when I press the enter key, see Excel is displaying this number in scientific format. Another scenario. This UPC starts with four zeros, but when I press the enter key, all that four zeros got deleted. So to avoid these kind of automatic corrections, apply text format for the cells where you want to enter UPC. Let me show you how to do that. We'll delete these values. Select the cells where you want to enter UPC. Right click, format cells. In the format cells dialog, select text. Okay. Let's type in the UPCs again. Now to convert these UPCs into barcodes using the barcode font which we installed, we have to add parentheses before and after these UPCs. For that, equal, double quotes, open parentheses, double quotes, ampersand, select the cell containing UPC, ampersand, double quotes, close parentheses, double quotes, and copy the formula into the cell below. Now to apply barcode font, Click on the font list, type in ID automation, select the font code freecode39. And here we have the barcodes corresponding to the UPCs in adjacent cells. Let's scan this barcode using a mobile application. Before that, I will delete this barcode here. In the next video, we will discuss about two different methods for creating QR codes using Microsoft Excel. Until then, thank you for watching and wish you a great day.